All right, Throwback CFM, boys. We're playing the Pittsburgh Steelers this week. Battle of Pennsylvania. I believe this is the 70 Steelers. Let's go take a look at the team we're playing, boys. The best version of the Steelers. Got to be Terry Bradshaw and the boys, right? Honorable mention to Palomalo and Big Ben and them. There it is, Mean Joe Green. So we got Terry Bradshaw at quarterback, 77 speed. We got Rocky Blyer Freight Train. We got Franco Harris. So this tells me he used his abilities on a running back, so we might have to bring our big boy pants. Wide receivers, we got Lynn Swan and John Stallworth. Both of these guys have abilities. So if I'm doing my calculations correct, he shouldn't have O-line abilities here. And his OJ Santiago tight end has abilities too. So everybody and their mother has abilities on his team. But he has no O-line abilities. So this could be a big Javon Curse game. But he has tons of studs. Swan and Stallworth, I mean, they're going to be hard to guard. OJ Santiago is 6'7", 88 speed. And he has short in and deep out. OJ Santiago. But he has no O-line. So we should be able to like get some pressure. LC Greenwood, 92 overall. Dwight White. Mean Joe Green, 99 overall, 71 speed. Jack Ham, Jack Lambert. Just sad Madden. Fixed linebackers, Madden. Jack Ham and Jack Lambert both will not see the field. That's tough. Corners, you got Tony Dungy, Ron Johnson, Larry Anderson, Randy Fuller, Mike Wagner as safety. Then he's got Donnie Shell as safety as well. So what's he got? He doesn't have that many defensive abilities. Secure tackler, acrobat. So we got Mean Joe. I don't know what else he had. I guess Mean Joe is his only... I guess he got a lot on offense, I guess. I don't know. But his offense looks really good passing-wise. And he's got a... Like, he's got a lot. But defense doesn't look that great. We'll be able to block Mean Joe Green. He has no O-lineman. So Javon Curse that we upgraded last week. He had a rough week last week against Larry Allen. He should be able to feast today, honestly. Speaking of, I, I'm be honest, boys. I think we're going pick artists on every DB. I, re I really think it's the move. Which CFM do you guys like the most? What's the go-to CFM for the boys? I like playing the different teams in throwback. That's pretty cool. The Rage one. Yeah. The other ones are too easy, W. It's a fair game, and you're beating the shit out of people. Oh, yeah, it's too easy. Yeah. I'm trying to keep a good mix for the rest of the summer. I can't neglect... I can't negate my Madden YouTube guys that support me. You know, we got to grind YouTube. Because when my son is six and seven years old, I'm going to remember that I kept grinding YouTube. And one day when we hit 100,000 subs on YouTube, I'm going to remember these times where I'm playing CFM and raging and struggling. Good sh Corey Simon, let's go. Come on, boys. Like, what are we doing here? I mean, holy sh**, Lito. This play action is just killing. Oh, my God, dude. Mm. Play action is just killing Javon Curse. Having to guard the run is just so annoying, man. It really is so annoying. Like, even at base, like, having to pinch your line and, like, I mean, he's just not in the box aggressively, so. Jack Ham. Bro, the players in this mode cannot juke, dude. I don't know what it is, but they like are stanky. That's good defense. No man, I'll be betting, I'm telling you, I'll be betting. I'll be betting. This be straight full of shit, dude. 
Why y'all keep rent manning up the right person, bro? I hate when they get lucky like that. First down, Westbrook. Let's go, kid. Let's go, Westbrook. Like, I really be wanting to go to, like, a three-man rush or a four-man rush when people run play action every play and stuff. Like, it's like... That's what I like to see right there. See, the play action low-key be, like, really popping you, like... Thank you, Simon. I got the whole team over there, man. Jesus Christ, bro. This is stupid. Like, dude, he hasn't been open to any play in a row. He's just chucked it to this guy. Oh, my God, man. I have noticed. This is what I've picked up on. That when he does this motion slant, it's not close to open. I keep always think that his motion slant is gonna be open. Him. OJ Santiago, bro. They know. They know about him. Dog, how in the world? Like, I, the, yo, the blocking in the run is like ridiculous. 71 and 69 just knocked each other off. Pause. Westbrook was wide open. I didn't want to score a touchdown yet, though. I wanted to milk a little bit. I mean, T.O. was absolutely smoked. And how the f*** does this guy just... Dog, the pass blocking in this game is the... the yo, I, the offensive line just sucks cock. They really do. It is the worst sh you could imagine. I'm just, I'm furious. I'm just infuriated by this, this offensive line. Really am. Absolutely pissed off. Jesus Christ, bro. Good old Mean Joe Green, huh? Good old Mean Joe out there, huh? I mean, dog, Jesus Christ. Like, <laughs> I mean, I guess that's Mean Joe Green. Double team anything. He just stop the run. I mean, this dude's just a moron, man. I mean, well, it's not Legends. It's literally the 70 Steelers. I have the 04 Eagles, which is good, except I can't stop Benito Santiago, or whoever the f guy is. Par the, the Spanish Parham tonight. I, I, apparently, I need to put some respect on OJ Santiago. Apparently, he's like the most goaded player in the game. Low key, the dude that was running four verticals could have got him a field goal. Swear to God, he could have. He really could have. Yo, OJ Santiago is a lord. I don't even want to put like a good player on him though. What do you guys think? Should I put Lido on that guy? Do you think that's worth it? Lido? I mean, this dude is a beast. I mean, I'm not mad at trading a tight end for him. I just want, I, but I don't want to, I want my pick artist around the ball when he chucks it up. I mean, dude, I, I'm cool. I'm, I didn't realize he was really just going to chuck the ball in the air every play, dude. I didn't realize that was honestly an option. Who got to me? I got disengaged by, dude, I swear to God, the offensive line can suck it in this game. It is so bad. Yeah, let's go Westbrook, get busy. Oh, 
B West. B West. Westbrook, a huge game again, dude. Oh my god. Just tackle him. Good way to waste the play. Let's go. Come on. Pick. Pick artist. Let's go. No swatting. No swatting. Pick artist. Let's go. Okay, that's nice. I mean, T.O., what are we doing here, kid? My best receiver just falling on the ground. Love to see that, huh? Oh, Freddy? This guy don't have a defensive playbook, bro. I can't lie. He is like, I'm on my toes. I don't know what to expect. I will tell you that the play action is definitely negating my defensive pass rusher, to be honest. It really is. I mean, if you want to run the ball now, kid, you can run the ball. He's going to throw it right at Santiago. And he pick. I just like, like, it's just like, what can I do, dude? What can a man do? I should have never clicked on. I should have never clicked on. Of course, this is the play that he, he puts in. Come on, man. Such a bad play. I swear he heard me say that he got, I don't got a guard to run him back now. Nuts. Thank you, man. Stupid ass. <laughs> game bro oh my god Santiago bagged let's go Dexter win bag Lido pick artist god I can't wait till Sneed and Dean get pick artist Chad Lewis. I don't think you understand the level of how much I have to sweat my dick off with the Vikings. I don't think you guys understand it, honestly. We got Dawkins on Santiago right now. Dawkins, Santiago in the slot. Who's going to be the one? Yup. Like mud head to head all the time. Like having to sweat that much against every person. Back to tight. Here we go. We got Lido on Santiago right now. Lido versus Santiago right now. I mean, bro, if they didn't bump into each other, I mean, it's just the stupidest sh It's just a pick play. Cool player, bro. Seems like he should he should run the ball more, use his running back more, but at the end of the day, you know, look at the bag, boys. Come on, Michael Lewis, bro, Lito, I need you to get a hand on Santiago right here. Good press, good press, good sh win. Love to see that. That's pressure. He got a great offense. He just threw a pick. He didn't call timeout at the end of the first half. He didn't call timeout at the end of the first half when he could have got the ball back with plenty of time. So, but he let the clock run out. So here we are. So now he got behind the eight ball with the score. It was 17 to 14 and he threw an interception and he's played no defense. So it doesn't matter how good your offense is if you played no defense. And on top of that, you can't have a great offense without secure protectors. Like that's the number one rule. If you can get beat by an edge threat like this every time, Dude, you're, you're just, like, it's just, you're just never going to be an effective offense. Oh, come on, man. He didn't even run around. He wasn't even open right there. 
God, this kid sucks. Intentional grounding. But you know I'm no shit. I'm just a Madden champion. You know the vibes. Talk. This is nuts, bro. Let's go, Quentin. I can't lie. Santiago had us in the first half. Santiago had us in the first half, boys. The thing that killed him was he tried to run bench and make a read. And Dawkins bagged it. Pick artist, dude. GG's, 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 good game. Jack Ham, Donovan McNabb. That, 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 that's our thumbnail right there. GG's, GG's, I mean, not a big game, honestly. Not a big game. Best Eagle man player in the last five years. <laughs> Lane Johnson, truthfully. You know how good he was with Nasty Streak on Regs and Madden 20? How good he's all, like, Lane Johnson was a beast. McNabb, no picks, though. Five incompletions. Yo, Westbrook had... Westbrook had five carries for negative two yards and a touchdown. McNabb, but Westbrook had nine catches, though. Westbrook went crazy on the catches.